Is there a new suitor emerging for Jimmy Garoppolo? Um, I think Carolina's out because yes. you know they've got Corral and they can they've got they've got the quarterback they can now successfully pair with Darnold. So you know they don't they're not gonna unless the Niners are willing to take Darnold and I don't I don't see that being a, you know a great fit. Um, I think Carolina's out. So I yeah. I do think the new suitor is back to the Texans, who might have been an old suitor now. Um, but I think the Texans make sense. Um, there's He's got multiple allies there. I don't know that he necessarily wants to play for the Texans, but I could see the Texans, who have Davis Mills, saying, you know what, um, you know, we can we can go with Jimmy and and bring Jimmy in. I think that's where his allies are. I think that's – that he's in he's in the right conference in the AFC. It would be palatable for the Niners. He's not in Seattle or in the NFC. Not that it was that big of a deal, but I think all things being equal, they'd rather move him to the AFC. Um, so yeah, I, I I still don't see a burgeoning market. Yeah. Um, I see you know like maybe a, a fourth and a fifth round pick in next year's draft, and I think we're all going to sit there and say at the end of this, was that really worth it? Um, but. I think the Texans would be the leader in the clubhouse in my mind. Maybe the New York Giants, but the New York Giant deal would have to probably involve Daniel, Daniel Jones or Saquon Barkley. And then if you're taking back money, then what are you doing? Because isn't this money really been earmarked for Debo and for Bosa? So I don't know if the Giants fit, but I think uh, the Texans will be the landing spot if I had to guess. Let me, let me ask some questions because I'm still in the camp of I don't think he's going to get traded. Really? So, I don't think he's, I don't think there's ever going to be ever 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 going to be a trade market for this guy. I just don't. Um I don't think he's good and I think the league knows it. But let me ask cuz I I have some questions. So from the Texas point of view, they're trading for Jimmy to start or to back up Davis Mills? To compete with Davis Mills for the starting job. That that would be oh. my guess. Okay, I mean, Lovey enough. Smith has said that he that Davis Mills is going to be the starter, but okay. I think if they had Jimmy there, Jimmy would wind up being the starter. Okay, fair enough. Um, but if they're not in win now mode, and I don't think they are, what's the freaking point of bringing in Jimmy in his contract? What's the point? That's a that's a uh, you know exactly. And that's one that's the owner, owner, that's that's are in the position they're in, Larry. Yeah, it, it's just hard for a team to actually sell themselves in this. Well, you know. The one thing with the 49ers is I think they we know their timeline. The Niner timeline is the beginning of camp. Yeah. He will be gone by the mini, beginning of camp. I'd be shocked if he's not. Now, Lynch has said over and over again, hey, we can afford the player. We can afford the player. You can afford the player, but can you afford the player while you extend Debo and Bosa? And I think the right. answer to that is no. So then the question is, do you want to extend Debo and Bosa? Yeah. So then can you afford the player? You know what I'm saying? It's like all these statements right. get made in a vacuum. Yeah, you right. can afford the player, but you can't like extend today, Diesel, you can't yeah. extend Bosa. Right. Yeah, but so yeah. so so their timeline is is get day one of camp. So I think they he'll be gone by day one of camp. I think he'll whenever his date in June is where the shoulder checks out, he'll have they'll take whatever they can get. My guess is it'll be a fourth and a fifth round pick. I hope and they'll you're get right. down the road. I I I think instead they're gonna like renegotiate Trent Williams' contract, create some cap space. And and no, what they're going to do with Jimmy, I think with I, here's what I think they're going to do with Jimmy. I think they're going to let all of the starting jobs dry up, and they're going to go to Jimmy at the very end of camp and say, "You lost the competition. You're the backup, and we're not paying you 27 million to be the backup. And there's no team that will give you more than seven million on the market right now because it's late in the in the process, and no one has cap space, and no one has a need for a starting quarterback. So we'll give you eight million to be the backup. Give you a little bit more. Stay here." That's what I think they're going to try to do. Finagle is priced down right at the end. That's what I think. Wow. Do you really think that? Because I do. It, let me. I bet my dad a bottle of wine, $50. <laughs> okay. Don't you think that there's going to be some pushback in the yes. locker room yes. at that point? Because I think it's insane. You... I think it's a terrible idea, but yes. I think they're going to do it. I think really? It's so bad. Yeah. No, I'm right there with you. But there, the, the fact that he's still on the, on the team right now is insane in my eyes. I don't think that. This is a bizarro offseason. Why not oh, it keep is. it going? It is. Um, the only thing is, is that, man, I mean, if Jimmy has allies in that room, they're going to view that as they're going to view that move as hyper aggressive. Slap in the face. And that that that's your reputation now yep. around the league. Yep. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I, I hope I, you're right. I, I hope you're I, right. I, I think that that they're going to wind up dealing him. I, I, I OK. Right. 
I don't right? think that Lynch would do this charade if he was going to wait till the 11th hour and cut him or wait till the 11th hour and straight arm him for, a, yeah. for you're going to play at my price or you're not going to play. Right. Because I think there's ramifications that come from that. Right. Negative ramifications. Right. I don't think and, and Jimmy, Jimmy's, Jimmy's liable to just say, cut me, that. cut me, cut me. I want out. I don't want to be here anymore. Right. I mean, ultimately already said he preferred to move on. He said it. Right. Yeah, he, he, did. he did. So I, I, I think that he's going to have to not just, He's going to have to be traded. It's going to have the, the price is going to have to be low, and it's going to have to be to a team that's palatable. And then Jimmy's going to have to say, "I'm happy with it. I'm happy being a Texan. I'm happy with a fresh." Who start. wouldn't want to be a Texan, Larry? <laughs> exactly. We're dreams I'm come true. Here. Yeah. No, I, I hope you're right. He he has to endorse it, Grant. Otherwise, yeah. if he comes back and says, "You know what." Um, I, th- the way the Niners handled me was wrong yep. and you know, th- th- and they did me wrong and they well, sent me out to I Houston. Was, yeah. 80% of the room might agree with the Niners, but the 20% is enough to screw up your, your locker room. So and I Jimmy don't know. That's said, high risk, man. That's high Jimmy risk. already said, I just want to be on a winning team. I just want to win. And if the Niners right. trade him, I mean, I think it was, it was perceived that he did the surgery so he could sort of pick his own team. Maybe go to Pittsburgh, maybe go to new Orleans. That didn't work out. If the Niners trade him to Houston, I mean, <laughs> that's exactly what he didn't want to happen. And frankly, if I were Houston, I would just roll with Davis Mills. I mean, I thought he, I thought he was a promising was rookie last year. Oh. Yeah, I mean, damn, he might have had one of the better rookie years. Yeah, what are you, what, where is the Browns in this mix with Baker and Deshaun and Deshaun's suspension? Yeah, that's a good and question. Who's going to play quarterback for the Browns if yeah. and when Deshaun is suspended? And it's sure as hell not going to be Baker. Something it's weird. surprising how the league doesn't like Baker anymore. I, they are just I know. out. Out. I know. Happen fast. Well, and it's you know, not everybody has to be a leader, but the quarterback does. And if the quarterback and shows, you know, non-leadership skills and he's all about himself, man, that doesn't play well. And that, and, and it doesn't play well with the guys who run the teams, which are the coaches and the GMs. Is I that essentially the book on Baker? Is that he's all about himself? I think Baker is – are the fact that Baker reacted with you know, one day of rumors, and he's like, I'll never play again for the Browns. I'm out. I want to. This is disrespectful. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Who the hell do you think you are? I know. I know. And yeah, I am the greatest quarterback in Cleveland Browns history. They should have treated me better. Like, dude, who? (laughs) Your commercials suck. You're not a good quarterback. No one wants you. That's pretty funny. Your commercials to touchdown ratio is not good. I mean, how does it feel that Jimmy Garoppolo makes better commercials than you, Baker? That's right. And that's not Jimmy's grandma, by the way. No, Jimmy does pretty good in those commercials. He kind of like he's got the whole like uh I always compare him to Zoolander. Just effortlessly, <laughs> effortlessly liked Zoolander. Right. Anyway, right. I think it was pretty clear that Jimmy is getting cut or traded by August. SF will hope an injury happens that will create a demand for Jimmy. Yeah, they can hope. They can hope. So okay, we're looking, we're looking at I, look, the thing that kills me is the, the now, one first thing, of all, I I disagree with that. that that's not happening. Because August means that he could show up and be like, oh, yeah. oh. And then now they're on the hook for the whole thing it's and true. the surgeries. And they're not, he's not taking the field in a yeah. Niner uniform. You better I not. Could, I would you better be, not. That would blow my mind if he showed up and they he's put like, him on the field. I'm because, taking crazy pills. He's yeah, I mean, on the field. That wow. can't happen. If we are standing happen. there in this summer and he's in a Niner uniform, I will be shocked. Totally shocked. But and I've not to be played. I feel like we would have said that in January. If he is on this team on May 4th, I will be freaking shocked. Like, that's how I feel every day that I wake up. It's like, what parallel universe am I in? How did I get here? But you know and I know that the real deadline is the is when they hit the field that's because true. that's when they want to extend. The, awkward. First of all, here's the way it's going to go down. Yes. If, if, if we get to the day one, today's day one of camp. Bosa's not going out there without the contract, yeah. and Debo's not going out there without the contract. Especially Debo, and they can't can both has those guys. Both right. has, yeah, yeah. Especially, but they're not going to go out yeah. on the field and risk anything unless they're taken care of, and they can't be taken care of until Jimmy's money's off the books. So this is it a good has point, though. This is a good point, though. If you want to trade Jimmy, maybe a team that would be interested in trading for him might want to see him throw a freaking football. Considering he had shoulder surgery, if I'm just you saying. Follow Jimmy's travel. I, I agree, but G, but that could be done uh, in that's a true. private workout between June June first and camp. 
And frankly, any team that's trading for Jimmy's trading for that smile and that leadership and that moxie. And it doesn't matter how he throws the ball. <laughs> 